Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Object Selection Tool in Adobe Photoshop. Friends, the Object Selection Tool simplifies the process of selecting an object or a region in your image. For example, you can select a people, car, pet, sky, water, buildings, mountains and much more. You can simply draw a rectangle or lasso tool around an object and it automatically selects that particular part. Okay. So you can get an object selection tool in a toolbar menu like here, here you can see object selection tool, quick selection tool and a magic wand tool. By pressing W you can activate a object selection tool and if you want to shift to any of this selection then simply press shift in your keyboard and then press W so as you can see it will be switching from another selection like this. So friends, in this video, we are going to use object selection tool and we are going to cover some examples where in this example, we are going to remove this person from a background as well as you can also see here, there is a yoga teacher. We can remove this person from the background as well as we can also remove this actress from this background. So these all things will be happen using the object selection tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, first we are going to cover the properties of object selection tool so it will be helpful to use this tool first time selecting this uh, image where we are going to select this person okay so friends first property is mode okay there are a uh, two selection type that we can draw within the object selection tool which is a rectangle and a lasso and we switch between them using the mode option now the rectangle is the default mode and it's let you to draw a simple rectangular box and letting you draw a free from selections around the object okay you can also use a lasso in between fine now next property is a select all layer which is say samples color from compositing area so what is this sample all layer so by default, the object selection tool looks for object only on an active layer. For example, this is our active layer. Okay. But if you want your selection to be based on a composite of all layers in your document, then turn on a sample all layer. But in the most cases, you want to leave it off. So friends, our next property is enhance age. So what is this enhance age? Now, auto enhance add a slight amount of smoothing to the edges of your selection. The difference with auto enhance on or off it's minimal, so it's usually fine to leave it off. Okay, our next property is object subtract. Fine, the object subtract option allow a Photoshop to use it advanced object selection technology when subtracting unwanted area from initial selections. When object subtract is turned off, the object selection tool behave just like a standard rectangular or a mark you or a lasso tool and simply remove whatever pixel you manually drag around. So object subtract should mostly left on. So by default, I'm just make it left on. Okay. So friends, let's see how we can use this object selection tool. So first of all, by using a shortcut, you can activate this object selection tool or you can also long press on this tool and you can activate your object selection tool. Fine. So after selecting the object selection tool, make sure your mode is lasso or rectangular. Fine. So right now we can use a rectangular tool because we can just select this part and it's automatically select this person. Fine. So I'm just selecting this person and boom so as you are thinking that wow it's so easy yes it is like we already learned in a magnetic lasso tool it's very difficult okay while you are using this magnetic lasso tool and select this all the edges but in this object selection tool it will be automatically select this part so it's amazing tool a object selection tool so friends now we are going to see some property okay so our object is done. Now what are the, some issues over here? For example, we don't want this area because it will be a background area which comes with my footage. So what I am doing, I am just pressing shift in my keyboard to add a particular area or alter in keyboard to minus the particular area. So I don't want this area so I am using a minus which is a subtract. So I'm just using the subtract and now if I'm selecting with a rectangular tool, then it will not looking good. So I'm just changing my mode to lasso tool. Okay. And now I'm pressing alt in my keyboard and selecting this area. So 
so guys as you can see this tool is very smart it select this part automatically fine so our work is done you can also check properly whatever the edges are proper or not fine so our object is done like this you can select any object and you can change the background like now i'm just copy this person and as you can see now you can use this image anywhere you can change the background okay so friends this kind of thing you can do in adobe photoshop so it's amazing tool now we are going to check our other footage now this is another footage where we are going to select this yoga teacher so fine first i'm going to select my object selection tool and i'm just simply okay first of all i'm just selecting this object selection tool and make sure my mode is rectangular and make sure my mode is rectangle because we are just a rectangle select this area so that it will be easy to select the object selection tool to identify the footage so i'm just selecting this area like this and friends as you can see our 90 percent is done by this tool now there are some issue over here i am just uh, zoom this area fine you can use this zoom tool to zoom this area okay and as you can see this part is not removed yet so what we are going to do we are just selecting this object selection tool and we are subtracting this area by pressing alt in your keyboard so right now it object selection so right now it's rectangle that's why it's not look good so i'm just changing more to lasso tool and now i'm going to subtract this area okay like this you can just also subtract the area press alt in your keyboard and simply you can subtract that area fine so the footage is not done yet we have to add this hair so i am again so now what we have to do we need to add this hair so in this case we are using shift okay it will be come plus sign in my cursor okay we have to end the to the first point okay so i'm just again back to my end point so friends like this you can select any part in your footage now i also want to add this part okay and now i'm just going to copy this footage just control c and control v so that it will become in a new layer fine just off this layer and as you can see our yoga teacher is removed from that background now you can add any background you can want you can add a mountain or any natural background etc so friends now we are going to see another example fine we have this footage where we have to remove this actor or a wedding bride from the background so simple we are just going to select this object selection tool okay and make sure your mode is rectangle fine so as you can see our 99 percent selection is done by the object selection tool now i'm just zoom this area to make sure the object selection tool make it work proper so as well as as you can see this part is not came so i'm just press shift in my keyboard and this area will come okay you can use a lasso tool to select an area but i am sure that the rectangle will also work fine so i am just selecting this with rectangle tool so friend as you can see or most of the work is done by the object selection tool we just need to make sure all the things is come properly so friend as you can see this part is not removed yet so we are again going to select the object selection tool and press alt for subtracting this area so i'm just selecting this area but as you can see it will not come proper because we are on rectangle mode so i'm just press ctrl z to undo and select a lasso tool and now by pressing alt i am just removing this part like this boom and it's done okay just press ctrl c and ctrl v 
and it will come in new layer okay guys so guys this is all about an object selection tool in adobe photoshop thank you so much guys see you in the next video